平常看什么新闻？呃，苹果。手机上看什么？上什么网站？呃，苹果。苹果。呃，香港零一，香港零二，呃，很多很多。Like most young people in Hong Kong, Ming is an avid Apple Daily fan. Founded in 1994 by the Hong Kong tycoon Jimmy Lai, this newspaper is well known for its anti-establishment views and quite strong impact. But I was told its influence is felt mostly here. Jimmy Lai is considered by many as the most outspoken anti-government, even anti-China figure in Hong Kong. Which is fighting the same war you have with, with, with China. His Apple Daily is among the most influential media in the city. It has 2.7 million followers on Facebook. The Daily is believed to have played a key role in instigating the whole protest. One day after the fugitive bill was gazetted, Apple Daily called the bill an ordinance that required one to be deported to China. Using impactful visuals, the Daily disseminated fear that under the bill, the mainland's judicial system will be applied to Hong Kong and that no one will be safe. It glossed over the scope of the bill and its explicit purpose of tackling crime. The bill was quickly demonized. The messages cannot go through. Even if they have reasons, nobody heard them properly and nobody believe it properly. So um, the, the, the media that is anti-government has actually filled all the airspace in Hong Kong. Yet another target, the police. In the 2018 Police Reliability Ranking published by the World Economic Forum, Hong Kong police ranked eighth among 137 economies in the world. But on Apple Daily and on social media, the Hong Kong police are customarily described as an evil force of brutality. Private information of police officers and their family members have been exposed online, threatening their personal safety. Compared to what we see uh, in the United States, uh, in the reaction to the Occupy movement and the reaction to some of the protests against pipelines and oil and gas infrastructure. In comparison, Hong Kong was quite, rest quite restrained. I visited the Hong Kong police headquarters. Alex was cut with a blade in the neck while on duty in October. The suspect was reported to be an 18-year-old. Have you ever wondered why this person attacked you from behind because you didn't do anything to him at that moment? 香港的面有一部分人呢,係完全冇自己獨立嘅思維。佢哋被其他嘅人士去影響,去做呢啲咁激進嘅行為。Alex's wife told me she's depressed by the overwhelming negativity portrayed on the media against the police. 睇咗自己會好唔開心個人呢? 好像覺得自己是被人孤立的一群都不想被小朋友看到這些這樣的新聞。Apple Daily reported on Alex's injury, but as part of a series called The Fight Against Brutality. Police are not the only ones being targeted. Ordinary people have also been attacked, including Chinese mainlanders and local residents. However, key figures behind the protest have refrained from publicly denouncing such violence. They believe that's the only way for their voices, including political demands, to be heeded. When I saw the kids went into front and confront the police, I was very touched. I admired them. Lao Siu Kai is Emeritus Professor of Sociology at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. <laughs>
独立啊，搞点不点，搞点做点分离主义这种这种这种主张。这种主张呢，落落在年轻人的身上呢，特别是他们对国家民族没有什么感情，也没有他也没有什么认识，很容易出来变成把把这点当成是一个旧港的意识。就这种情情绪加再加上一些那些反对派跟一些反对派的媒体呢，把他们捧为英雄，就产生一种英雄主义。This sense of heroism is reinforced by the extraordinary amount of reports on Western media. U.S. media watchdog Fair published a study in December of reporting by New York Times and CNN of four major protest movements around the world: Hong Kong, Ecuador, Haiti, and Chile. It found that protesters in Hong Kong are always referred to as pro-democracy protesters or activists, even after violence flared. Well, I think it is not. Um, where you are, but what is the cause of the protest? If the the cause of the protest is for a cause that is in alignment with a United States interest, then those protesters, no matter how violent they are, they will be called peaceful demonstrators and freedom fighters. 